Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. It's my pleasure now to be joined in the studio by UNCP baseball head coach Paul O'Neill. Head coach Paul O'Neill, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. You're just over a third of the way through your season now. The Braves are 12 and 5 overall with a 3 and 3 record in the Peach Belt Conference. Give us a progress report on your team up to this point. Well, when we play well, we win. When we don't, we lose. Um, you know, we've got to be able to do two of the three things well if we're going to win. You know, whether we're going to uh, swing the bats very well and pitch that day or play defense and pitch. You know, we've got to be able to do two of the three. If, if we don't, then we're going to lose. If we do all three, then, we gotta, then we're going to win. Um, as far as our team at this point throughout the season, um, guys are putting a lot of effort into it. Guys are getting better each day. They're working really hard. Um, guys are starting to find themselves as far as, you know, roles, you know, if they fit into different situations and so forth. So if I was going to give us a grade right now as far as our performance going through the first third of the season, I'd probably give us, you know, a B range, you know, type grade. This is a team that lost 17 seniors off the 2015 squad that led the country in scoring with 10.2 runs per game. Although you probably haven't seen the offensive numbers that you like, uh, have you seen some improvements from your lineup as the season has progressed? Yes, um, the, the lineup is starting to, it's starting to come together. We're still, still working on it, um, you know, putting guys in the right spots. But, you know, obviously we're not going to score 10.2 runs a game this year. It's not, not the same players. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but the guys are getting better. They're learning how to hit. I mean, that's the most important thing. They're learning how to hit. They're learning to have a plan when they go to the plate. They're having an idea of what they're trying to do when they get in the batter's box. Um, and that's going to take some time. It's going to take the entire year for all these new guys to, to learn this process. Um, you know, they're going to get their hits. They're going to score their runs. We're going to do things positively at the plate. But it, it is a process, and it will take, you know, the entire year to get better at it and that's what I talk to the team about all the time is can you get a little bit better each day you know keep working keep working you know and as we keep this thing moving in the right direction by the time April runs around hopefully we're, we're in the mix of this thing and you know you're starting to keep you know peaking towards the top. Who are some of the guys that have stepped into leadership roles this season maybe not just seniors but some of the new guys as well? I think you know Justin Attilo being a catcher for us and our starting catcher um, he's grabbed a leadership role as far as being in charge of what's going on out on the field. Uh, Drew Beaver, um, he's a returner for us. He's been a two-year starter. Um, obviously, he's, he's a leader on our, on our team for us right there. I would identify those two guys right now as, as our top guys um, that, are, that are leading our team you know, currently right now. There's some other guys that are, that are starting to, to feel it a little bit as far as getting involved a little bit more and being a little more vocal and, and saying things when they see somebody maybe not working as hard as they possibly should or uh, maybe they're slacking off a little bit of practice. There's a few more guys that are starting to open their mouths and say, hey, you know, get refocused. Let's get after it. Let's, you know, we got a purpose what we're trying to do here. More than half of your roster is wearing the black and gold for the first time in 2016. How important is it just to play games and get that experience under their belt? Well, playing the games is is extremely important. Um, you know, we've had a couple rainouts, you know, earlier, you know, in the year that that hurt us. You know, we need to play. The more we play, the better we're going to get. Uh, the more reps these guys get in game situation, the more one-run ball games that we play, uh, the more pressure that's put on them at game speed is only is only a benefit to us. You know, um, so I want to play. If we could play every day, I would play every single day. Um, but Playing those games is, is really important because we do have a brand new team out there. It's all those new faces, guys who never really played in the past. So it's game speed, game experience is, is a huge benefit to us. Jesse Stinnett, who transferred in from Maryland Eastern Shore, has tallied wins in three of his five starts in 2016. What have you seen in his progression as your top weekend pitcher? Um, Jesse has thrown, the, he threw the ball very well on Friday night. That was his best outing of, of the year so far. Um, he's shown progress as he's gone. His last two starts have, have been his best two starts. So hopefully he's starting to hit his stride a little bit and uh, be the guy that we thought he was going to be the entire year. Um, you know, he works very hard. He comes early. He stays late. He takes care of his body. Um, he's, he's doing everything the right way, so it's, it's nice to see him have some success. Has in the past, all-conference reliever Alex Britt has relished in his role as your go-to guy out of the bullpen. Alex is a perfect 2-0 and has converted all three save opportunities handed to him through 17 games. 
What is it about Alex that makes him so reliable? Well, I think the, the first thing is it takes a special person to be able to go get the last three outs of a baseball game. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. People think it's very easy to do, and it's not. You know, the, first and foremost, he knows how to just stuff a fastball right in there. You know, when the umpire kind of shrinks the strike zone down a little bit and it gets tight and it gets, you know, pressure starts to mount, he, he pumps strikes, and, and that's the first part. And then he's got, he's got an above average fastball, he's got, a, he's got a plus change up, and he's got a slider. So he's got three pitches that he's working with out there, and he throws strikes. He's very competitive. He's a cool customer. He handles it, you know, the pressure out there well. Hence, he has success, you know, so that's part of, of, of his formula right there, and that's why we got him going last for us. It's time for our final break here on the Black and Gold Report, but don't go anywhere as when we come back, we're still talking UNCP baseball with head coach Paul O'Neill. And once again, welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. I'm Cameron Songer, joined still by UNCP baseball head coach Paul O'Neill. The Braves are hitting 318 as a team through 17 games and are averaging right at 7.7 .7 runs per game. Six guys are hitting 324 or better, including five newcomers. What are the strengths of your offense? Uh, I think the strengths of our offense are putting balls in play, moving guys around, um, some timely hitting. Um, it's you know our offense. It's it's not as consistent as as it might sound on paper right there. You know it's been different guys on each different days. You know with it, so that's been a nice thing to it. You know if the top wasn't hitting, then the bottom was hitting, and so forth. We haven't had a lot of baseball games where nine guys in the lineup have all been swinging the bat well throughout the baseball game. So. You know, I'm learning that it's we can't rely on one or two guys. We've got to rely on all nine. We've got to play a different style as far as if, if there's an opportunity to be aggressive, we need to be very aggressive, whether we hit and run or try to bunt a guy up, try to steal a base. You know, we're trying to do whatever we can to get guys in the scoring position to give that next guy an opportunity to get an RBI and drive a run in. Stabel Ali Mansaba paces your team with a 469 batting average to go along with seven extra base hits and a team best 18 runs batted in. He's been a pretty consistent hitter in your lineup this season, but what is his potential for the remainder of the season? Well, I mean, Stabel is a good hitter. I mean, that's his, obviously, that's the strength of his game. Um, you know, his potential, uh, he can keep doing the same things he's been doing all year as long as he stays within his package as far as can he, can he stay quiet at the plate with his front side, can he use the middle of the field. Um, he's got plus bat speed, so that's always an important factor if you want to be a good hitter. Um, but as long as he stays quiet and uses the middle of the field, then he's going to have a lot of success. With all the new guys on the roster, you've been able to tinker with the lineup a little bit thus far. Are you beginning to settle into a consistent batting order that you're comfortable with moving forward? Um, we're trying to find one. I mean, yes, I have been tinkering with it. We've been shuffling guys around from the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom and, and moving things throughout it. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put who's hot in there at, that, at the right time. I'm trying to get the right personnel on the field for that particular game. Um, so that's what I'm trying to work with, you know, right now. I feel like we're getting close to figuring out what our lineup needs to be, what works best for us as far as base stealers, RBI guys, set the table type players, you know, um, but it's it all comes down to if somebody's swinging the bat well, then we've got to get them in the lineup and we've got to try to get somebody on base in front of them. You've got a good chunk of your season left, but where are some of the areas you would like to see the most improvement for your team over the next couple weeks as you head into the heart of your Peach Belt Conference schedule? Well, obviously, uh, if we're going to be a successful team in our league, we've got to play good defense. You know, that's something that, you know, when we've played good defense, we've won. Um, that's always very important. You know, and things that don't show up in, in a box score, like throwing to the right base, you know, hitting a cutoff man, you know, doing small things correctly, you know, fielding the ball and so forth. You know, so team defense is, is a big thing that we need to improve upon. Um, pitching. Um, we got to be able to pitch it. You know, if you if you pitch and play defense, you're going to give yourself a chance. Obviously, we want to keep getting better offensively and running the bases. You know, 
like I said to you earlier, we've got to do two of the three things well if we want to win. You know, we've got to do two of the three. And um, when we've done two of the three, we have won. When we've done all three, we've definitely won. You know, so we just got to keep improving generally with our entire game the entire year. There's something for us to work on each and every day that we go to the ballpark. Thanks for being here, Coach. Thanks for having me. That's all the time we have for this week's Black and Gold Report. Until next week, go Braves.